Many people believe that entering marriage is a final step in a romantic relationship. As they see it, a couple meets, gets to know each other, falls in love, decides they want to go through life together, and they take the final step, which is marriage. But marriage is not meant to be the final step in a couple's relationship. It is really just the beginning of a grand adventure that hopefully will be a long one, fruitful for each couple. You have shared the joys, blessings, and yes, the challenges of married life for a year now. And today, you wish to reconfirm your commitment to working together to make your marriage grow and blossom in the years to come. May this ceremony, renewing the vows you took to become husband and wife on your wedding day, remind you that despite the stresses inevitably in every life, your love, respect, trust, and understanding of each other will continue to increase your contentment and heighten your joy in your life. If you will, please join your hands. Jacob, will you continue to have Sarah as your wife and continue to live in this marriage? I will. Do you reaffirm your love for her? And will you love, honor, and cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer or poor, for better or for worse, and forsaking all others? Be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. Sarah, will you continue to have Jacob as your husband and continue to live in this marriage? Do you reaffirm your love for him and will you love, honor, and cherish him in sickness and in health? For richer or poor, for better or for worse, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. In 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7, we read these words Love endures and is kind. Love is not envious or jealous. Love wants not for itself. Love is not puffed up, nor does it behave wrongly. Love seeks not for its own. Love is not easily provoked. Love is not rude. Love thinks no evil. Love does not rejoice in wrong, but dwells in truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, endures all things, and love never fails. On your wedding day, you exchange rings as a symbol of the never-ending cycle of love. Rings serve as a reminder of your wedding vows to each other and your commitment to live in unity, love, and happiness. At this time, it is appropriate to reconfirm the meaning of the rings you wear. Please join your hands together so that Jacob's hand is on top, his left hand, okay? Jacob, please repeat after me. Sarah, Sarah, I wear this ring you placed on my hand as a symbol of my love and commitment to you. Now with Sarah's hand on top. Sarah, please repeat after me. Jacob, Jacob. I wear this ring you placed on my hand as a symbol of my love and commitment to you. I ask that each of you remember to continue to cherish each other as special and unique individuals, and that you each respect the thoughts and ideas of one another, and most of all, be able to forgive each other and not hold grudges against one another. Live each day in love with each other always being there to give love, comfort, and refuge to each other in good times and in bad. Jacob and Sarah, today you have renewed the promises and vows you made to each other on your wedding day. You have symbolized the renewal of the marriage union by the joining of hands, the taking of vows, and by the wearing of your wedding rings. It is with pleasure that I conclude, conclude the ceremony of renewing the vows of marriage that joined you and bind you as husband and wife. Please celebrate this renewal of ours with a kiss.